Hello, welcome back to the channel. My name's Nicole. If you're new here, um, I go by Pennies to Riches on Instagram and YouTube. I'm going to do what sold. And this is probably about two weeks this time. Um, I don't know what's going on. My dates got all messed up. So I wrote it in my planner this time because, you know, I need to be more organized. So I'm going to start with eBay. First thing is these are these pair of J. Crew khaki pants. And I'll put the screenshots over here for you. Um, they sold for $18.99 plus shipping. This Tinkerbell sweater, um, I paid about $3 for that at Salvation Army. That sold for $15 plus shipping. This blow mold, it's a soldier blow mold. Um, it was really faded and it didn't have the light, so I let it go for a little cheaper than the typical blow molds go for. Um, and that was $22.50 plus shipping. I got that for free at a yard sale. Um, I had bought a weave for $20 and they gave me everything else I got for free, which was awesome. So... Packaging that was fun, let me tell you. I wish I had a picture of that Franken box. It was not good. <laughs> I wrapped it in brown paper, hoping that would help. <laughs> um, I sold this lot of science magazines for $10 free shipping, which means that I'm losing money because that was back when I thought you could send magazines media mail. And I learned that you cannot uh, because the advertisements. So lost a little money on that. I didn't know I still had those and forgot to change it. But anyway, that's okay. I only had 25 cents or less into the entire lot. It was from an auction um, back when I first started. Um, this Alaskan photo frame sold for $4.40 plus shipping. I got that for a dollar, I think, at the Habitat for Humanity locally here. This book sold for $3 plus shipping called the perfect rake that again we got an auction lot i probably have like 10 or less cents into that one um that guy gave us some crazy deals we got an entire truck full like the inside and the bed for how much ashley like 80 bucks i'd say <laughs> so that was a good one this i don't know how to pronounce this pleone apparently it's an anthropology brand when i did my research but it didn't sell for much, so I won't be picking that brand up again. Uh, sold for $10 plus shipping. Not terrible, I guess, for just a shirt, but I'm trying to go more towards, you know, $20 profit or more. So that I got at the bins, so it was probably pretty cheap at least. This vintage Popples, it's a dog that gets stuffed into a basketball to make a little ball um, from, I think, I don't know if it's the 70s or 80s. Uh, anywho. That sold for $20 plus shipping, and I got that in a bag of stuffed animals. I got a whole bag, like a big garbage bag, for $5, so. Um, this Island Shores shirt sold for $10 plus shipping. I don't remember where I got that. I wouldn't pick up a shirt like that for more than, like, $2, if that. <laughs> um, I probably got that one at the bins, honestly, so. Um, I, this Columbia coat sold for $15 plus shipping. This was my husband's, so there was no buy cost to me. He had just given it to me to sell because he didn't want it anymore. So 15 plus shipping on that was good enough for me. This Cabbage Patch doll sold. I got this for $2 at a yard sale not very long ago. It only sold for $9.55 plus shipping. Cabbage Patch dolls, they do sell quickly, but they don't sell for as much as I would like. If I find some that are, like, new in the box, I might pick them up again. Or maybe lot some together that are in really good condition. But otherwise, I don't know if I'm going to really pick those up anymore. Um, unless they're, you know, a quarter maybe. I don't know. We'll see. This sale was awesome. These Converse. I got these locally for $20. Uh, they're Chuck Taylor's, the rag uh, quilted kind. And they sold for $112.50 plus shipping. That was on an offer. I had them listed at $150, but I'm just trying to keep moving through my inventory. So that was a good enough profit for me. I sold this Victoria's Secret velvet bra that I got, I think, for $2 or $3. I paid way too much for that. I don't know what I was thinking, but it happens. Anyway, still made money. It sold for $7 plus shipping. 
This PS2 um, guitar for rock band, it's the red octane kind, sold for $28 plus shipping. It was untested or else it would have sold for much more. Um, but I don't have a PS2 right now. I sold them all. <laughs> so I couldn't tell. This NASCAR blanket sold for $11.50 plus shipping. Those are usually like $4, $5 um, at Habitat and at Salvation Army. Don't remember where I got that one. It's been sitting for a while. Finally got it listed and it did sell pretty quickly. So These Aero Pastel pants sold for $10 plus shipping. These I did get at the bins, so they, I probably had like $2 into them. Um, these Mud Shorts, $5 plus shipping they sold for. Again, that was a bins pickup. Um just because of the style and the season coming up. Again, I'm moving towards trying to get $20 profit. I'm also paying much more attention to the sell-through rate. I was making that mistake before where you'd see a few things sold and not really pay attention to how many sold versus listed. And ever since I started paying attention to that sell-through rate, uh, sales have been going up for me, along with listing more consistently. So hopefully that trend continues and I continue to learn and do better with that. Um, this PlayStation shirt, I've had this since uh, about a month into reselling. That finally sold for $15 plus shipping. Pick that up. The local Salvation Army prices are like $2 for a t-shirt, so that's probably what I paid for that. These Nike Air Max, they sold for $60 plus shipping. I got them for $25 here locally. They didn't require much cleaning at all, so that was a good profit. The little turnaround didn't take long at all once I listed those for them to sell. This Nike coat sold, it has a number six on the sleeve, so I listed it a little bit lower than I usually would. And it sold, I think, on an offer for $10 plus shipping. And the buyer wants to return it. <laughs> and they have to pay the return shipping, so I don't know why they're returning it. It's going to cost probably $9 to return it, and he's only going to get... 10 back because his reason was just didn't like it. So I'm not, I don't refund the start shipping, like the beginning shipping or the return shipping when it doesn't fit or I don't like it. Um, no fault of mine, only the buyer because there are measurements in every single one of my listings. So that's going to be interesting. <laughs> um, I had three returns. I talked about this in the last video, three returns right in a row. And these are the three right here. These Born Sandals sold for $25 plus shipping. She opened a return. This one was my fault, so she did get refunded, the return shipping and everything, because I put the wrong size on the listing. <laughs> so I did relist those. Um, somebody offered me $15 last night, and I said no, because I know they'll sell. Um, so hopefully they sell again for the full asking price. This Havana Hawaiian-type shirt sold for $7 plus shipping. And he read the size wrong, uh, which he admitted in the message. So he returned that. I refunded him seven. He paid eight fifty five to return it. <laughs> so I never understand buyers that do that, but that's okay. Hopefully it sells again. I relisted that one. These Nike um, swim shorts sold for ten dollars plus shipping. These were another bins pickup, so I probably have like a dollar fifty into those. Not even, I don't even know. Probably a dollar. They were pretty light. This Lands End brand new with tags shirt sold for twelve dollars plus shipping. As you can tell by the picture, <laughs> this is one of my old, old, old listings. Um, I wouldn't even pick up that brand now. Probably no matter what it looked like. Although I did see somebody sold a vintage Lands End wool I think sweater for like a hundred dollars and I would never even think to look that up I think that was thrifty yeti if I remember right and he's like he's so good at picking up stuff that I would never even think of like vintage American Eagle or whatever <laughs> I don't get it but he knows his stuff so kudos to him this Columbia sweater sold for nine dollars plus shipping I don't remember where I got that so um this L.L. Bean shirt sold for $6.25 plus shipping. That was also a bins pickup, as far as I know. Um, so again, like a dollar into it. Our bins has different, I don't know how it is everywhere else, but we have a clearance center, not a bins. So there's like different prices for each uh, category. So clothing is like, what Ashley, like $1.75, right? Yeah, $1 a pound? A pound. 
for clothing, I think. So this probably costs like literally a dollar. So um, I sold these Nike shocks for $25 plus shipping. I got those for $2 at a yard sale. They were kind of in rough shape, which is why they sold for so low. Well, I listed them for that price and somebody bought them, but they had wear on the heel and the toe was peeling a little bit. So I just wanted to flip it real quick and get rid of it. These Lululemon, which was in one of my um, haul videos, my first Lululemon ever, sold for $42 plus shipping, and I paid $2.99 at Salvation Army for those. We're on to Poshmark now. I only had one sale in the last few weeks on Poshmark. That seems to be up and down. One weekend I'll get, you know, three, four sales, and then it'll be dry for like three weeks. And I haven't been cross-listing on there like I should be. I just now, this week, I think have really buckled down with the listing 10 items a day on eBay. And then when I'm at home at nighttime, when the kids are in bed, I cross list to the other three. Everything that I listed that day is my goal from here on out. So this Furla bag I got for $20 at the thrift store and it sold for $110, which is so awesome. Um, it sold really quickly after I got it listed like four, three, four days, maybe. So that was an awesome flip there. On to Mercari, which has been picking up for me. I hadn't been selling like anything on there and suddenly here we go. So I'm happy about that. <laughs> me and my sister picked up, um, and I feel like I talked about this in another video, but I'm not sure. We picked up this espresso machine for a hundred dollars. We split it. So $50 each. It sold for 300 plus shipping. Um, and so that'll be after fees. I think I figured it out it'll be like $130 a piece um, on a $45 or 45. <laughs> Half of 100 is 50. $50 investment. So that's awesome. And at Habitat for Humanity near us, they have little stamp cards. And when you get it filled up to 10, every $10 you spend, you get a stamp. When you spend 100, you get it filled up to 10, you get $10 off. I use two, I think, of those cards for that espresso machine. So I got $20 off. So I really only spent $30 and make $130. So that's awesome. Um, this Columbia jacket, uh, pretty vintage uh, beige jacket, sold for $16 plus shipping. Um, this flax dress, I got it for, I think, $2 at a yard sale. It would have been worth like $35 probably, but I noticed there was a stain on the left shoulder. So I put that in the description. Somebody offered me 20 plus shipping. I accepted it. Again, I'm just trying to cycle through inventory. I do stick to my guns on some items like that furla purse. I had gotten so many offers that were like 80, 90, kind of tempting to buy it to take the offers. But I said no, because I knew what it was worth. Um, and on eBay, I've started to, on my offers, best offer, I put the lowest that I want to take into the best offer. I used to just let it auto-populate or not even put a lower, lowest amount. But now I really think about it and think, you know, what is this worth? And you could take a few dollars less, but ex for an example, for a $30 item, I put 25 in there instead of, I used to put like 20 or 15, you know? So then when there's no offers for me to be tempted to take, so... That has been working out good so far. We'll see how it goes. This Pioneer CD player I got for $3 at a local barn sale. And it sold for $52 plus shipping. It was tested, worked. Um, good sale there. That Pioneer brand, that's the second one that we've sold in the last few weeks. So I think that's a pretty good um, brand to pick up. I'm going to keep looking for that one. This Handmaid's Tail Jacket, which was so cool, and it finally sold, new with tags. I got it for 20 bucks a while ago, and it sold for $90 plus shipping. And this Rock Band set sold. It's a PlayStation 2 Rock Band set. It is untested, okay, because I don't have, like I said before, I sold all my PS2s. So I literally can't even test it, even if I wanted to. Um, so I put it up at 250. Nobody was biting. I realized, you know, with it being untested, I probably wouldn't get that much because that's like how much you get when it is tested. <laughs> so I put it down to 160 and it sold within a few days, 160 plus shipping. That went all the way to California and the box was like, you can't see, but really tall, taller than the desk here. <laughs> um, so hopefully it makes it safe. 
Mercari is kind of awesome because you don't have to put the dimensions of the box in. It says optional. I'm saying yet uh, because I'm sure they'll change that eventually. But for now, it works. Facebook really slowed down after they did the free shipping promotion back when it was around Father's Day time. And after that, my sales just like dried right up. Um, they're doing another free shipping thing now, I see, until the 4th of July. So hopefully it picks back up a little bit. But I did sell this fossil bag, which had just been listed that day, and it sold that night for $20 plus shipping. It was a pretty red, um, I kind of wrote distressed grunge type look in the in the description because it, uh, I don't know, it looks a little faded. And everybody liked that. I had a few offers and uh, sold for $20 overnight. These little dog figurines are the last sale for the last few weeks. They, again, we got those in the auction lot where the guy gave us everything for like 80 bucks for a whole truck full. <laughs> um, and they sold for $14.25 plus shipping. They were like that big. <laughs> so that's a good sale, I think. Um, Facebook tried to fight me on it saying I was trying to sell dogs. <laughs> I see that happen all the time to people where they say you're selling drugs or animals or whatever. So... Facebook is fun. So that's everything for me. I did not calculate how much that is total because, again, it's like two weeks or so of sales. From here on out, like I said, I have it in my planner now so that uh, every week I'm going to do what sold for that for the week before. So hopefully everything will be easier from here on out there. But some good sales, some good flips, and I'm pretty happy with the profit that I've been making lately. Um, like I said, we've, I've been really, you know, buckling down with making sure I'm listing consistently because everything you watch for, you know, the YouTubers, um, and Instagram and everything, you really have to list consistently every day, the same number of items even every day. And it seems like since I started that, I really started it two weeks ago, but this week I've been really, really good about being on the schedule. Um, my sales have gone up way up. I'm getting, you know, three, four sales a day and I have 800, I just finally hit, yay, <laughs> uh, 800 items listed. So yeah, um, everything is going much better now that we're on a schedule and hopefully everything just improves from here. We're still working on organization of the shop. It is really messy back there <laughs> with all our craft supplies and everything else. We've been keeping the, the desk a little more neat, but our boxes, I'm just swinging you around on my light here. Our boxes are super messy. We need to get a shelf in here for that. I'm going to search Instagram and the Facebook groups for ideas. I've seen a couple. The problem is we sell all sorts of items. So, like, if we had just clothing, it'd be easy because we have these cupboards up here that we put all the bags in. But with all, like, I have a rock band set and then, like, a shirt, you know. <laughs> so I have to have... A bunch of different types of boxes um, so it's gonna be hard for us to figure out storage but we really need to because just little things like that that take so much time up um, and this week I'm hoping to get a GoPro maybe maybe this week maybe next week maybe a month <laughs> um, but uh, I'm also gonna order I was watching I don't know her name. Oh my gosh. Kaylee, I think her name is. She's a YouTuber uh, that does, she did primarily Poshmark and now she's going, she's getting bigger. She's got an employee and everything. But anyway, she has these little like lanyards that your phone goes in so that you can take a picture and drop the phone. I think that Daily Refinement has them too. When I was watching his video, I think I saw his workers using those. So that will save me so much time because I am such a scatterbrain <laughs> that I lose my phone like four times a day. Um, and then I'm just walking back and forth, like looking for stuff. And that just takes so much time away from listing. Um, I think the batches of listing is also, are also like a good plan. Uh, they talk about making sure you have stuff cleaned and then, so clean a batch of like 10 things and then take pictures of the batch of 10 things and then sit down and do the listing of the 10 things. I think I'm going to try that maybe, uh, tomorrow or the next day and see if that goes a little better because... When you're, you know, listing and then you have to get up and clean something and get it prepped, it's just, it's so much distraction. I'm just trying to figure out how to streamline everything still. So if you have any suggestions, let me know in the comments. Um, 
comments, anything. Um, and I think that's about it for me today. And I will see you guys again later this week or early next week. We're going to camp this weekend. We have a seasonal spot and it's 4th of July weekend. So I don't know if I'll get another video done and edited before next week. So we will see you then. Thank you. Thank you.